The road opened up just before 4 o'clock this afternoon. Confusion coming out of Boston and in the investigation into the marathon bombings from Monday. There were reports earlier today that a suspect had been arrested. Those reports were later denied by the authorities. Fox 6's Craig Boswell is now in Boston with the latest. A day after the mood of the city of Boston shifted, there is a dramatic change in the tone surrounding the investigation. Investigators are pouring through surveillance video from businesses around the finish line where the two bombs were detonated Monday. The explosive devices were made with pressure cookers. These pictures show the remains of one of the devices, including twisted pieces of a metal container, wires, and a battery. Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano says the FBI is investigating the case as an act of terrorism. We will do all we can to bring whomever is responsible for the attack to justice. Three people were killed in the attack. Last night, more than a thousand people attended a candlelight vigil for the youngest of the fatalities, eight-year-old Martin Richard. His mother and younger sister also remained seriously injured. The Richard family is our neighbors, and um, my nieces and nephews are friends with Martin and his brother and sister, and it's just a terrible thing. More than 100 others were wounded. Many of them, including young children, are still being treated. Their spirits were not broken, and I think that that should probably be the message for all of us, that uh, this horrible act of terror will not bring us down. There are candlelight vigils this evening as well, including one for the 29-year-old victim. President Obama will be in the city tomorrow speaking at an interfaith service. In Boston, Craig Boswell, Fox News. You can count on us to bring you the latest on the deadly explosions in Boston. You can find more information on this story anytime on our website, fox6now.com.